I'm not entirely sure that's the right way to be doing that. Yep, I have to take my bike in for a few adjustments, so I thought we'd take a look around the shop while we're there. This is the back, the maintenance area. What will we find? A bunch of trash, no doubt, but also the odd gem. Have a look at this brand spanking Suzuki GN125. An absolute hero. I would not mind one of those. Now, I was keeping my eye firmly on the mechanic. I was not convinced of his technique at all. Whilst looking around, I found these generic Chinese brand 250 twins. Now, I'm not sure why they were left in a corner to get all dusty, but probably they'd be a lot of fun. Now, intricate adjustments were still being done, so uh, my eye was caught by this wide-bodied beast. A cruiser in the style of an American brand, perhaps an Indian or something. But this brand name was somewhat different. A bender. I'm not sure I could happily uh, ride a bender. I know a lot of people do get a tremendous amount of enjoyment out of riding benders, I'm sure. But uh, it's not for me. Each to their own, that's what I say. Now, another troubling thing was the uh, model names. This one's called a rock, and the grey one was called a chinchilla, uh, which apparently also means it's a Harley Davidson. I'm not sure how that works. But they were pretty uh, spectacular looking bikes. I just thought it was a shame that the make and model name was so uh, at odds uh, with that. Uh, next up was this Space Ranger. Clearly somebody's personal creation. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. GN125 with a transplanted engine or a GN250? Answers in the comments. Ah, now. Look at this. This is Cove's latest offering, a 450 Rally. It's their current Dakar bike, and it's not doing half bad in that race. I would love one of these, clearly inspired by Honda's Africa Twin. Now, Benelli is a company that's been Chinese-owned for quite some time, and they're doing a great job pumping out retro classic cruisers like this one. Uh, it's not my taste too much, but I, I do find it quite attractive to look at. Unlike the more modern CF Moto next to it. CF Moto good at uh, ripping off Hondas. This is the uh, Honda Grom copy. I thought it's called Rapio, you know, fast, but apparently it's a Papio. Not sure what that's meant to mean. But looking at CF Moto's service area, it's pretty modern and clean. Uh, yeah, CF Moto coming on leaps and bounds. Now the silence told me the mechanic had stopped smashing my bike to pieces and that it was time to get home and get on with the rest of the day's chores. Chinese bikes not to be sniffed at anymore. Perhaps uh, get yourself one and get out on the road and have some fun.